Hello folks and welcome to another video. So in this video I'm going to continue on with the flash umbrella setup using my Vivitar 283 flash gun. So stay tuned and see what I get up to. So guys, have you seen the video uh, where I showed my uh, flash umbrella setup? I'll link it somewhere in and around and about. Uh, you'd have seen that uh, I'm using a rather ancient Vivitar 283 flash gun and some old uh, flash umbrella sort of setups. So uh, in this video, I'm going to uh, continue on with that and hopefully uh, end up taking some photographs. Uh, not so sure how well that's going to work guys, but anyway, uh, enough of that to waffle. So the next thing I'm going to need to do guys is come up with a uh, background or should I say I have come up with a background and I haven't actually tried it yet so who knows <coughs> excuse me there guys I'm uh, just getting over a rather about a bad bout of a cold or something so uh, I might sound a bit hoarse anyway enough of that so the setup I'm going to need is I'm going to have to have something here uh, so I'm sat at the dining table in our conservatory um, so it's quite long, so it's an ideal um, sort of setup, but I need a background which in effect will go here. So I need to come up with something that's pretty portable and hopefully uh, will do a pretty good job. So this is what I've come up with guys, so you're going to have to bear with me one moment So I've got it all sort of laid out in front of me. So, in no particular order, we'll say, but what we've got is, we've got these, so I don't know why that's going to show up, but these, oh, I've got two of these, so these are uh, ute bit, ute bit C clamps, so in effect they're going to clamp onto the table, so I've got uh, two of those, yeah, I've got videos, they're actually very, very useful, so we've got two of those, um, two, mini uh, ball heads because that's going to give me a, a sort of a bit of an angle and be able to sort of uh, set it up um, you know because as I said it's a bit of a well whatever I found in the garage sort of thing um, four of these little rubber pads so I don't mark the table so that's the sort of a uh, part that clamps it to the table. Now, these. So I've got two of these guys, so these are very, very cheap. Um, I don't know what they call Selfie sticks. So these came with a little um, LED lighting panel that I had. Um, but what uh, makes these pretty useful is that it's got the standard, uh, well that's going to show the standard GoPro uh, fingers on the top. And they're adjustable selfie sticks, so hopefully I can use that to adjust the height of the, the background. So we have two of them. And lastly, we've got this, well not lastly, second from last, we've got this, so it's a... Uh, a little bit of a right angle bar with holes in so that's going to form the top if you like guys so that's that and then we've got a, a background I'm not sure whether this is going to be a suitable colour but uh, that's the only thing I've got at the minute so that's the sort of bits and pieces that uh, are going to form uh, the background um, the subject or models if you like, they're uh, in makeup as it were at the minute guys, getting ready to uh, be filmed. <laughs> so that's the setup, so what I'm going to do guys is the, it's going to be sort of a, I'm going to try and set something up here, I don't know, I'm going to have to adjust how far uh, along the um, table it goes, uh, hang my background over, and then in effect the camera's going to sit where I am, I'm here photographing towards where you guys are. So for that I'm going to be using the M50 and uh, my Vivitar 283 flash gun plus the um, flash umbrellas that uh, 
I showed in a previous video, as I said, I'll link it somewhere. So that's the setup. So uh, apart from setting everything up, one thing I'm going to say is the uh, I'm not sure of the flash settings on the uh, M50. It's not just a matter of clicking it on and away you go, like in olden days when you just set your flash sync and that was it. Uh, so we're going to have to mess about with some of the flash uh, settings on the M50. But at least one advantage with shooting digital that uh, I didn't have back in the days with film, that if the exposure is a bit off, at least I can uh, tweak it in the editing software. So that's the setup, Ooh, and the sun's coming out as well. So as I said, this is a rather, it's going to be a lot, it was a long awaited video, because every time I tried to film it, guys, it rained and snowed and whatever else. So at the minute, fingers crossed, the weather's going to uh, be favourable to us. Anyway, so uh, we're going to set everything up. So just for the record, I'm filming this on the uh, Sony AX53 camcorder. I'm hoping I've got the audio set correct. It looks all right. Anyway guys, I'm going to go and uh, set this up, so I will show you the setup, but I will probably um, speed it up, because uh, I don't really want to bore you with uh, the whole sort of a setup, but uh, I'm going to have to try and adjust where I'm going to put it as well, probably at least halfway across the table. Anyway, I'm waffling on guys, so if you just bear with me guys, I'm going to uh, change positions with you guys and uh, try and set this background up. So folks, I've cleared the area, so uh, we're going to be using this table. So uh, basically I'm going to make some sort of background across here. Uh, it's going to be a little bit snug in here guys, because I said it's rather a large table. Ideal lighting for videos, but uh, it's going to be a little bit snug, because I'm going to have to get this filming tripod plus the photographic tripod here, but and the umbrella here of course. So. So the plan basically is two of these. So I'm not going to, I'm sort of, well, I'm going to go for, say, let's go for halfway across at the moment. So I said, guys, I am going to speed this up. So uh, just bear with me. So uh, as I said, uh, two of these, cross it, and uh, well, yeah, you'll see. Anyway, guys, so uh, I'm going to speed this up now. So uh, uh, you ain't got to endure 10 minutes worth of this. So uh, we'll see you at the end. So there you go guys, that's the sort of setup. Now I'm, maybe I'm going to have to move it uh, forward and back, and maybe adjust the height, but that's going to be the uh, sort of setup. It's a little bit uh, wobbly, but it's hopefully going to be good for uh, the experimental purposes of uh, this video. So uh, the subject obviously is going to sit in here and then this will be the background. I'm hoping the background uh, is going to be of a suitable colour. It, uh, yeah, it's okay. I mean, maybe some closed pegs or something along here and something along here. Uh, I'm going to have to adjust it. But anyway, guys, that's the sort of background setup. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is uh, get the camera and get everything set up that way. So uh, Hopefully you can uh, see that. As I said, guys, I'm going to be running out of room here, so I don't know where I'm going to be able to put you guys. So, uh, But uh, the next thing is, camera's going to sit here, pointing that way. So uh, if you just bear with me, guys, I'm going to uh, get that set up.
So guys, I'm now going to attempt to set the camera up uh, so you can see that, but I'm probably going to be uh, in the way of the uh, camcorder most of the time, but I thought I'd just try and sort of show you some of the setup or the positions. So I'm going to be using my new, uh, new, new newer tripod. <laughs> And uh, as I said, the lighting stand's going to go this side, so I don't know how much uh, space we're going to need. Let's go for two. I'm going to deploy two legs. Am I in the shot? Yeah, just about. You're not watching me, are you guys? We're watching this uh, very professional setup, aren't you? So perhaps I reckon that would be a good height uh, for the camera. I'm hoping that'll be a good height for the camera. So, I don't know whether I shall deploy the horizontal boom arm, as it were, so we're going to be something probably like that, maybe further back, but until I actually get everything set up, guys, it's going to be a little bit uh, hit and miss the positioning, but that's where that's, where that's going to go there. I'm not quite sure exactly the position of the perhaps the uh, umbrella until we're actually fully sort of uh, set up. But I'm hoping, because as I said in the video, I've been going to use the window light there, which is sort of to your left hand side, guys. Umbrella is going to be here. Anyway, next thing is umbrella. So just bear with me, guys. Oh, there. I think it's going to be worth it. <laughs> so we're going to go for, you probably can't see the umbrella there, but uh, that's going to be the umbrella, I think. Excuse me, guys. Oh, I've got stuff chucked around all over the floor. Height-wise, I'm not sure with the umbrella. I said you probably can't see me at the minute, guys. So, just slightly... Just remembering from my days of film, the umbrella's got to be slightly above the camera, just shooting down a little bit. I don't know why well you can see me, I can just about see you guys. Oop. Things are falling apart down here, guys. So, that's that set up. Right, well, that's the stand. Let's get the get the umbrella. So I'm not going to put the camera on straight away because I know my luck. I'll probably knock it off. So so you probably can't see what I'm doing at the minute, guys. But I will give you a uh, a view in a moment, guys. I can't leave it all set up because I should be walking into it. But uh, I will set it up just to. Uh, Show you guys what we're what we've got. So that's going to be like that. Maybe a bit high on the umbrella. So uh, see if I can turn you uh, lovely folks round, and then you might be able to get a, a better look of where we're going. So just bear with me, guys. So that's uh, so it's, it's a bit tight for space in here, guys. But that's. That's the umbrella going to be there. How well can you see that? Yep, not too bad. Put the the weight on there. There we go, guys. That's a bit high, I think. A bit high and a bit more of an angle. So I'll try and zoom you guys out a little bit, but I think I've run out of zoom. Yes, I've actually run out of zoom, guys. So the widest setting on the on the camera or on the camcorder, so that's going to be the setup. I don't know why you can see that, but that's the flash. There's my umbrella, but I'm afraid I can't show much more because we're at the widest uh, view. So that's going to be the setup, guys. So what I'm going to do now is just sort of fold it all down and. Uh, bring the subjects and uh, everything else uh, 
down and ready and just sort of work out the where my positioning so you don't really want to be watching me faff around with that guys so what I'm going to do is my subject's going to be sitting here out of shot camera here flash gun uh, I don't think I'm going to might have to move you guys back a little bit but uh, I'm slowly running out of room anyway guys so uh, that's it for a minute now so uh, I'm going to go and set everything up with the subject so uh, that'll probably take me 10 minutes but for you it'll be probably three seconds I expect and I might get myself a cup of coffee in the meantime but anyway guys if you just uh, bear with me one moment for you and probably 10 minutes for me so guys everything's set up so we've got our uh, models uh, set up and ready to go the camera's all sort of set up in its position so uh, first of all let me introduce you to our uh, models so here this is Karim and uh, this is Jonathan and that's absolutely true uh, Karen and Jonathan so these are uh, Charlie Bears uh, so Karen collects them we get them from uh, Corf Bears in Swanage but they are Charlie Bears they are all uh, named and uh, have serial numbers so uh, so, so this one is uh, Karen and this one is Jonathan so they are our namesakes so that is they are genuine that's their genuine names so that's the subject matter uh, they're set up guys so uh, I'm trying as you can see I am lacking uh, space so here's the camera if I try not to kick the tripod it's not the easiest thing to uh, work around here so this is the setup so the camera sensors on top uh, flash guns over I don't know well you're going to see the flash gun guys can you see it what I will do is is turn everything around I'm going to be very gentle but I'm going to turn everything around so that's the camera so just swing everything around so there's the umbrella set up there guys can you see that so that's the setup there I can't zoom out anymore because so uh, the extent of the zoom of the M50, no, no it's not the M50 <laughs> AX53 so that's the setup and uh, go back to the subject matter there that's the creaking of the tripod if you heard that guys so that's the setup so camera wise while we're on the M50 let's just uh, turn it on guys so setting wise on the M50 to start off with so on the M50 we're going to be at 100 ASA and I'm going to start off at uh, I reckon around about F8 because I don't know where the flash gun is going to put the exposure so uh, 100, 100 ASA F8 so well you can see that on the screen uh, the flash gun I'm going to have to walk around in front of you guys because the flash setting I've got it on auto and uh, excuse me guys so we're on the yellow setting on the auto setting of the flash gun the camera is in aperture priority so the yellow setting at 100 ASA is it's going to be 5 to 43 foot so I'm not sure how well the exposure is going to be uh, working. So let me just fire at the flash gun. Now I've had a bit of trouble with the the flash gun guys because it uh, well the battery terminal is a bit grubby, but uh, a couple of times it wouldn't uh, charge up. So that's uh, the setup for that. Now what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually use, hopefully, I'm going to use my tablet uh, to communicate with the camera. And uh, so I'm not actually touching the camera to uh, take the photographs. I'm hoping that uh, I can use the tablet as a remote. We'll wait and see on that one, guys. But anyway, the plan is I'm going to take a few, just going to do some test shots. <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. I'm going to take a few test shots. I'm just going to fire up at different sort of uh, apertures and, and uh, f-stops and that and just have a real little bit of play. Is that uh, 
straight. I don't know if that's straight or not. So I don't really want to swap cameras or stop audio. So what if I stick that in front? Can you see that? So that is the image that I'm getting off of the camera. It's probably not the best way to uh, show it. What I might do is towards the end, uh, to actually do a little bit of video off the M50, but that's what I'm seeing off the M50. So, I'm going to see if the flash gun's charged up. Yep. So, as I said guys, I'm not going to uh, mess around taking too many or too much video of the photography because it's going to be lots and lots of different setups so and you don't want to be bored with that so i'm going to take a couple of pictures so let's try the first one and see what happens yeah that looks quite good right we'll go for another one so the flash gun fired so try another one I don't look too uh, oops, kick the camera too bad actually guys so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit and so I'm just gonna just change positions etc 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 as I say guys you don't want to be bored with too much of me messing around with the camera setups and such like so just lock everything down there's a bit more of a zoom in, yep, so let's try again. Yep. So that's the uh, setup. So what I want to do guys is because we're on F8. So uh, this position really I'm only gonna get down to 5.6. So let's Let's see if uh, I'm going to do a couple more whilst you're watching, guys, and see what it's. Uh, so, what I want to do is, so I've opened up the aperture, so really I want to reduce the power of uh, the flash gun a little bit. So, let's. This is probably going to be. I'm sorry, I'm looking at my cheat sheet, guys. So I'm, excuse me for standing in front of you guys. So, I'm going to. I'm going to. What settings do we go to? So let's try the purple setting guys, so I'm not sure how that's going to go, but so that's the purple setting and we're on 5.6 at ASA 100. Oh, I don't know, maybe that's, maybe that's a little bit, uh, I don't know, maybe a little bit overexposed on that one guys. So let's go to the other extreme of the, the scale then. So that was purple. So let's go right down to, we're not going to manual. <coughs> so let's try, so that's the yellow satin again. Yeah, that's not too bad. 5.6 ASA 100. So I don't want to do, too, I don't want the background to be too, uh, I can't have it too much out of focus or too blur because I haven't got the aperture. So let's let's change the subject matter a bit. Anyway, guys, you don't want to be watching me uh, do too much of this, so we'll just do slightly in the wrong position. So what we want to do, guys, is I'm just trying to sort of get a decent position. Oop. He looks half asleep. <laughs> Try one more. Yeah, he definitely looked half asleep, that geezer. So that's the sort of uh, settings we're going to play at, guys. So, so, so I'm not going to bore you with uh, too much more of this. So uh, I'm going to uh, just carry on with some different positions and some angles and that. But as I said, I'm, I'm lacking space out here, guys. So uh, there we go, guys. Anyway, I'm going to carry on with some more uh, photography, but uh, I'm not going to bore you with too much. So uh, we'll bring you back towards the end. So, folks, I've taken uh, quite a few photographs at uh, 
different uh, apertures and different sort of settings um, but to be fair they all sort of uh, looked pretty much the same should I do a self portrait with us? <laughs> they look pretty much uh, the sort of same sort of setup, guys. So uh, uh, I think because I, I couldn't really shut the aperture down because uh, the lens isn't particularly brilliant for that. So I uh, couldn't really shut the aperture down too much. So they didn't, uh, most of them seem to turn out okay. So uh, I don't know, can I get in the picture? That's right. Let's see where you can get in the picture. Yeah, not really. <laughs> I can't get in the picture. Anyway, so uh, that's the sort of a uh, setup we got, guys. So I've used my tablet to uh, fire the shutter. So I could I suppose I could use a self timer, but basically I've just tried different settings on the flash gun, um, all the different uh, color codes. Let's just turn the flash gun off, and we don't need that. Um, all the different uh, sort of auto settings on the flash gun, and done some. Uh, in uh, manual on the flash gun as well um, on the tablet they didn't seem to too much um, so let's just turn this around a bit so it didn't seem to be just didn't seem to be too much difference in the uh, exposure um, but that's the sort of setup we're going to be using it is a bit of a, a faff around guys I have to say um, but yeah, I think it would work, but uh, it's just going to be balancing the, the flash gun setups, the camera setup. I've, I've actually moved the, the umbrella setup a little bit closer and moved it away from the setup as well. Um, yeah, so I think it, looking on the, on the results on the tablet, until I actually look on the computer, guys, I'm not going to know. But that's the sort of basic setup. Uh, as I said, it is a bit of a pain to uh, set everything up simply because it's, it's uh, just so much uh, limited in space in the area everything's set up but I think it can work um, I have um, some little LED lighting panels that will probably be uh, easier to use um, as more direct light but the problem is the two stands that are holding this up uh, <laughs> Is the, is the actual stands that hold the LED lighting panels up, so you'd need to come up with a better background. Anyway, I'm waffling on here, so that was a little photo shoot uh, of an indoor sort of setup with the flash umbrella. Uh, the M50 didn't blow up, it's still working fine, fingers crossed. Uh, so that's it guys, so that was a little photo shoot of uh, John and Karen, or, or Karen's Charlie Bears that she collects uh, we have quite a lot of them now. We tend to buy one every year when we visit uh, Swanish. But there you go, guys. That's it. That's the setup. What I might do, actually, just as a little side view for you guys, is uh, swap over recording onto the uh, M50, so you actually get more of a camera, a camera's eye view, if you like, guys, as opposed to uh, a view from the uh, camcorder. Anyway, so uh, just bear with me while I uh, set that up, guys. So guys, here we go, that's the actual uh, setup, what the camera's uh, seeing, as it were guys, we were on 100 ASA, that might be a little bit dark actually, and I've got to be careful with the audio, it might be a little bit uh, hot at the moment, but uh, that's the sort of setup that the camera would be seeing, so it's a little bit, uh, probably a little bit on the dark side because we're filming, but uh, that's what the camera's going to be seeing guys. So anyway, that's it for this uh, little video. So I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. And uh, we will catch you on the next one. So until then, uh, see you all again soon. Uh, it's bye-bye from uh, me. Bye-bye uh, from John. And bye-bye from Karen. And bye-bye from me. We'll see you all on the next one. So until then, catch you all again soon. Bye-bye.